editorial partnership is always between the EU institutions and a uh, private publisher. In this case, the manuscripts come from the EU, we publish a tender and we select the partner and we keep the copyright. In addition to that, there are a number of books which are published under what we call co-publishing arrangements and these are uh, arrangements with other international organizations, for example, United Nations, OECD. And in this case, we have a different arrangement in in these cases, the contributions and the copyright are shared. So, we, uh, in, on 6 August 2011, we published the call for expression of interest. The purpose of it is to establish a list of professional publishers, which will be then consulted for any new uh, partnership, partnership project. If you are interested to be inserted on a list, it's very easy. You just uh, send an application which respect the selection and exclusion criteria which are laid down in the call for expression of interest. So, you are very much welcome to do. Uh, there are two types uh, of uh, publishing and commercial distribution of publication, either in the paper format or in electronic format. Um, the call of expression of interest covers lots of uh, sectors, like science, economy, law, environment, education, culture, business, competition, employment, social policy. So it's a very wide field of interest. So what are the main specifications in the call of expression of interest? So the, the author service, like Joachim said, which are always the EU institution or agencies, provides the manuscript to our office, to the publication office, who makes it available to the publisher. Then the publisher provides the publication office, us, with the electronic file, to put the material online on our EU bookshop free of charge. And then uh, we request as well some free copies. The publication office as well can, on behalf of the author service, and very often is the case, orders the further copies on a reduced price. Uh, final specification is that the production and dissemination costs are to be borne by the publisher and also all other profits will be in the publisher favor. So what are the mainly selection criteria? Se selection criteria of course focus on uh, professional skills and economic and technological capacity. So what is requested, in fact, from the private publisher? He has to fulfill the criteria which are listed in the call for expression of interest. For example, he has to provide a list of the main project services which he supplied over the past two years, or exactly, specifically for the electronic publication, he has to provide any information which would demonstrate the candidate's experiences in the, each of the required technologies. As well, very important is the candidate's distribution network. Exclusion criteria, of course, we have as well, which, which is as usual bankruptcy and similar situation. This is very, very easy to, to fulfill as there is a predefined declaration of honor which uh, simply the candidates fill in. So once we have the list of the interested, interested private publishers and we have the interest expressed by the author service, for each uh, manuscript, for, for, for each uh, request of the author service, we will launch the tender procedure. Publication office, office will then send the tender file with the invitation to the tender to all candidates on the list or to those among them who have been selected using objective and non-discriminatory pre-qualification criteria. Because it might happen that the contract is very specific, so we will not send it to all the publishers. We will just focus on the publishers from the field. As a second stage, then the publication office concludes a contract on behalf of the author service. Of course, with a line uh, in a line with the tender specification, which can of course 
uh, the base of the tender specification will be of course the same and then there can be some specification which would vary according to the, to the uh, specific uh, request. A few words on the general perspectives for publishers. What is the interest for the publishers to work with the EU institutions? Um, the interest is probably to have high quality publication based on specialized contents. And this is really the key message for our presence here in Frankfurt this year. Content drives leaderships. Within the EU institutions, there is interesting content. We have different DGs with high level scientists and experts, and this is worthwhile to be published. There is an additional, let's say, commercial interest in case you publish uh, with the EU. There will always be an additional number of copies ordered by the author services. It's in the figure that can vary it can be 100 copies, but in some cases it can be 1,000 thousand copies or so. So it uh, can be an additional commercial interest. Uh, an additional advantage we offer is also the visibility and the promotion for private publishers on our website. And we have on our EU book website a link to the publisher's website. Uh, finally, uh, a few clarifications on editorial partnership and reuse. Again, I stress that uh, what we do in this field is facilitating the publishing process between the publishers on the one hand and the EU institution on the other hand for new titles, for new manuscripts. And an additional explanation, these new partnership publications are done only in the original language version of the manuscript. That means if the author service provides us with a language manuscript in, let's say, English, German, Spanish and French, we can do that. In other cases, if there is only one official language version in the beginning, then you are free to ask for a translation license. But this is a, uh, a separate business, it's led by a separate unit, but we are always uh, at your disposal for translation licenses. But I stress once again that this is in addition to the general policy in the field of reuse, because what we would like to stress also here in Frankfurt, that we encourage the reuse and uh, the reuse of publications and documents from our EU bookshop under the general conditions which apply to reuse, acknowledge the source of the documents, co copyright notice, not to the distort the original content, and no infringement of uh, intellectual property right of third parties. So, uh, then a few comments on uh, the new technologies. Uh, there is currently, we are undertaking an overhaul of our publications and dissemination strategy to take into account the impact of new technologies. And you have already seen um, in the beginning of the pre presentation, in, within our call for expression of interest, there is a separate second field. That means companies can only apply for that. It's publishing and commercial distribution of publications in electronic format. And we have these requirements from our reader, ebook bundles, rich media publications. Uh, we have uh, the requirements for improved access via mobile devices. And for books, easily searchable interactivity, social feature, updates, information feeds. So we try to follow up all these trends. And it's always interesting for us to be here in Frankfurt and to see what's happening in the publishing business and priority being always to open access and cross-platform compatibility. Uh, last but not least, uh, we show you, we have it, uh, in, in, it has been distributed, it's our new colleague, the catalog, which has, uh, uh, contains a few titles we have published over the last five years, and you will see that the focus is on academic publications, that is why also this year we are here in the role of the academic publishers. The key subject fields are economy and finance, research and innovation, and environment and ecology. So again, a few uh, recent publications. You can see them here on the table and if you want after the uh, meeting you can see them here and also in our stand. So these are interesting titles which have been published recently. Just for your information, um, 
there will be a special session of, the, of uh, presentation for two of these books here on the slide. One for the EU the economy crisis in perspective. It's a forthcoming publication. And the other one is the, um, the Atlas of Climate Change Impact on Cultural Heritage. So for these two books, we have organized a special event. You will find the information in the folder we have distributed. Finally, our contact. So please feel free to contact us in, in Luxembourg. Send us an email. And please, once again, register in the call for expressions of interest. Uh, I'm at your disposal with my colleagues for any questions. And thank you for your interest.